I mean, what African family, you know, that doesn't like spicy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Grace. Here on my channel, you'll find all things beauty, mom life, and of course, lifestyle. As you guys can tell by the title, I am going to be doing a Trader Joe's haul. So if you guys are interested in some of the finds and some of the things that I picked up at Trader Joe's, keep on watching. Alright guys, so Trader Joe's is definitely one of my go-to places when I am grocery shopping for my family. I did pick up a couple of things and most of the things that I picked up are things that I need to like buy stuff with to cook, if that makes sense. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the stuff I picked up and I'm also going to be telling you guys how I plan to like cook it or what I plan to use it for so you guys can kind of get a feel of the type of cooking that I do in my house and also give you guys some ideas on things to cook in your house. So first we're going to go ahead and start with the snacks because I have quite a few of those. So the first thing I picked up are these sweet plantain chips. Absolutely one of our favorites in my house. My husband loves them. My daughter loves them. I love them. So I picked up actually maybe like three bags of these because we love them. And it's actually kind of a small bag. So we went ahead and picked these up. I also picked up another type of plantain chips. These plantain chips are actually the salty ones. The ones I showed you guys before are the sweet ones. And I picked these up for my husband specifically. I like them, but I'm not crazy about them. I prefer sweet plantains, and he prefers the salty. So I went ahead and picked him up a couple of bags of these because, remember, if you guys watched my other food haul, my other grocery haul, you guys know my husband doesn't eat that much. But when he likes something, I will either keep on making it or keep on buying it. So I went ahead and picked up these plantain chips. So I was really excited when I saw that they still had this in the store. I wasn't sure if it was a seasonal item or not, but these are the ghost pepper potato chips. Love these potato chips. They have like a nice sweet and spicy taste to them and I love spicy and I'm glad that they're not a little bit too salty so I don't feel like guilty when I'm eating them because I try to not have too much salt. But these are so good. If you like something a little, it's a little bit sweet and then it has that kick of spice, go ahead and pick these up. They're really, really good. So I'm always looking for different types of snacks for my daughter. We definitely give her a lot of fruit. Um, we give her like yogurts and cheese and all those things. And she doesn't eat a lot of cookies or like sugary things unless it's fruit. But I saw these and I couldn't resist. They're cinnamon school book cookies and they're so cute. I had to pick them up. They look like this right here. And I thought it would be really cute because they are letters inside if you guys can see. They're different letters. I thought that while she was eating it we could do some letter recognition, you know, to help her with her letters and all that good stuff. So I went ahead and picked these up. And I want to believe that they're like almost like animal cracker flavor, but it says cinnamon so I'm not 100% sure. I'm definitely going to taste them to give them a try before I give them to her and I'll let you guys know down in the comments if she liked it or not. So as I'm filming this video, it is almost lunchtime, so, well it's actually past lunchtime. <laughs> it's past lunchtime and I am hungry so when I went in, I was like, alright, let me see if I can find a salad. I've been really into salads right now. So I picked up this Mexicali salad with chili and seasoned chicken. And it comes with um, chicken, mixed greens, corn, peppers, sun-dried sun tomatoes, which I don't like tomatoes. So I'm going to be picking those out. Pumpkin seeds, Parmesan cheese, and jalapeno Caesar dressing so it sounds really really good it has a lot of good stuff in it i can't wait to try this and again i will let you guys know down in the comments if i like this salad or if i didn't but i'm really excited to try it and also <laughs> your girl is hungry so as soon as i'm done filming this video i am going to sit down and enjoy this salad i went ahead and picked up some hash browns these are the hash browns right here um they're just shredded potatoes and they say you can eat it with eggs, bacon, or possibly by itself. So Naomi loves hash browns and I like hash browns as well. So it's something that I could give to her before she goes to dance class or before she goes to school in the morning or even before church. Something I could just warm up real quick and she can eat it on the go because 
<laughs> we're always eating on the go in this house so I just thought that this would be really nice for her to eat you put it in the oven or you can put it in the microwave something really simple for both of us to enjoy if you guys saw my other grocery haul you guys know I picked up some frozen chicken strips I really didn't like those but I went ahead and picked up these grilled chicken strips from Trader Joe's and it just says you just go ahead and heat them and serve it it's perfect for salads or for pastas and I can tell that like this is fresh chicken by looking at it the one I got at Target that time I really didn't like it but I'm excited to try this I probably will put it in pasta or salad before it's all gone I think that this is going to be really good and I noticed that they have different like flavors of the chicken the way the chicken was seasoned they had like a lemon pepper chicken I just got the basic chicken because I wasn't 100% sure what I'm going to use it for so I thought that this you know just I guess plain chicken <laughs> this plain chicken would have been per would be perfect so I can put it on my pastas I could put it on salad or I can like use it to cook up something I don't know but I went ahead and picked up some chicken strips I picked up some Mexican style roasted corn it looks like this it looks so good we love corn in this house I hope everyone is going to like this Mexican style corn it comes with I'm not even gonna pronounce it it comes with cheese on it I don't know exactly what kind of cheese I'm not gonna butcher the name if you guys can see that but it comes with cheese and it's roasted and I'm thinking of making some Mexican chicken tacos and this will go perfect with it because it has like you know it's already grilled and it has the cheese so another thing we like is tacos as well so I think that's what I'm going to be using this corn to make is some Mexican tacos I'm sure that you could also use this just as a regular side for like some type of dish or maybe like fajitas or enchiladas or something you could use this as a side for that but we are going to be making tacos so I'm excited to try this Speaking of tacos, I also went ahead and picked up some hot and sweet jalapeno peppers. We love spicy in my house. I mean, what African family do you know that doesn't like spicy? So I thought that this would be really nice to try the hot and sweet jalapeno peppers. They look like this. I'm excited because I'm definitely going to be putting these in my tacos. I really want to try one now. Let's see. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my god. First of all, they're really spicy, but really good. The sweet and the hot together is A1. Really, really good. I see I can see myself eating this by itself, to be honest. But they're gonna go really good in those chicken tacos that I was telling you guys about. Really good. Um, you could really put this on anything that you might want to be cooking. It's really good. If you don't like spicy, you're not gonna like it. But the sweet and the spicy combination is really good. All right, so you can't go to Trader Joe's without picking up, you know, their famous Mandarin Orange Chicken. We always get this every time we go to Trader Joe's. So I just wanted to go ahead and pick up another bag. It's been a while since I had it and I kind of miss it. So we went ahead and picked up this. And to go with that, I went ahead and picked up some organic jasmine rice right here. Normally when I make that chicken, we just use regular white rice, but I picked this up because I also want to make some curry chicken. And since I want to make some curry chicken, I went ahead and picked up this Thai yellow curry sauce. I've never made, you know, curry chicken before, so we will see how this turns out. I don't know if I need to make the sauce from scratch or if I need to make it, if I can use this to make it, but I'm going to give it a try. So I went ahead and picked up this yellow curry sauce as well. It looks like this later this week I do plan on making a barbecue chicken because Naomi's birthday is this weekend so I'm going to be having some people over and I'm going to be making barbecue chicken and some other things and I went ahead and picked up this ghost chili barbecue sauce I like the ghost peppers that they sell by itself by themselves and I love the chips so I thought I was gonna love the barbecue sauce as well if it's too spicy I'll probably just get something else I'll use a different barbecue sauce, but I had to go ahead and give this, you know, hot chili, 
ghost pepper barbecue sauce a try because like I said before we love spicy in this house and I think that this will be really good to make some barbecue chicken out of. A lot of my seasonings come from Trader Joe's because they're affordable, they're made out of great quality herbs and things like that, but I didn't really need to stock up on anything except for the pink Himalayan salt, so I went ahead and picked some up, and they're super affordable, they're like $2 for like a shaker, and they have a variety of different seasonings, but I didn't need to like stock up on anything, so I just went ahead and picked up some salt. I also picked up some jumbo cinnamon rolls that I'm going to be making a Saturday morning for Naomi's birthday so she can have some cinnamon rolls. I'm going to treat her, let her have a little bit of, you know, sugar since today her birthday is coming up. So I'm going to be making these probably before she goes to dance so that way she can have these to eat and we can enjoy it before she has dance class on Saturday. So I'm down to the wire. I have about four more things. I went ahead and picked up some strawberry lemonade because who doesn't love strawberry lemonade? Let's be serious. They they didn't have like the juice that I really like, which is their um, apple cider. They didn't have it out yet, which I was surprised because we are technically moving towards fall. And they had a lot of their pumpkin things out, but they didn't have the apple cider out. But that's fine. So I went ahead and picked up some strawberry lemonade. I also picked up a bottle of Moscato. Um... It was really the only like sweet wine that I saw that I actually like. I didn't want to buy something I knew I wasn't going to like. So I went ahead and picked this up. I picked up some organic olive oil. I use this for cooking. I use it for our hair. I use it for a couple of different things. So I like to always have olive oil on hand. The one I have in the house, honestly, is not even done yet. It's almost finished. But... I don't want to wait until it's done to pick up another one because you never know what you need olive oil for and we use it a lot in my house. So the last two things are a favorite of mine. It is the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. I went ahead and picked up the shampoo. I've used it in the past. I love it in my hair, especially in the colder months because it really helps with my dry, dry, itchy scalp. I also have the conditioner, but I didn't need the conditioner. I just needed the shampoo. And I saw that they have the body wash. And I'm really excited to try the body wash. I've never tried it. But if it's anything like the shampoo and the conditioner, I definitely think I'm going to love it. And it smells so good. If you want something that smells like minty and clean, this is definitely something you should definitely try out. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this Trader Joe's haul. If you guys did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button to join our family here on the YT. Comment down below. Let me know what are some of your favorites to pick up at Trader Joe's so that way next time I go, I can go ahead and, you know, give those items a try. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>